What's good? What's good? I got some time to kill before my shift. I only have like a week and a few days left and then I'm out of here. Thank goodness. Because my mental health has been struggling. And it's not just been the job. It's been everything. The events of the last few years sort of just piled on top of the beginning of my spiritual awakening anyways. It's almost as if there was a correlation between the two. But we're crawling out of this mess. And I'm really excited because I have been approved for like at home ketamine treatment therapy, ketamine therapy treatment. And so it's been done uh, via the internet. So I had a telecommunications meeting with a psychiatrist who was able to prescribe it. She prescribed it and then it's going to be mailed to me and then I'll have a meeting with uh, like a guide or a facilitator and it's really cool the program it's very structured so it's not like oh hey I just got some ketamine and I'm gonna experiment I do like psychedelic drugs and I have experimented a little bit but in this capacity I'm gonna do it very very formally and very structured because I, I if you've watched any of my videos you'll you'll notice like that I, I often talk about the physical mental and spiritual pain that I'm in uh, I do a variety of things to kind of help work on that but I've just felt stuck um, especially with the mind-body connection there's things that uh, my brain is saying let go I just can't let go I can look at my life I can look at like the ordeals that I have been through and for the most part like I it's it's not on a level that I can just access and heal and so I'm hoping that ketamine therapy will help me sort of uh, just let go of a lot of things and in that letting go I'm hoping my body just the tension will just drop because I and I, I've done the other things like I've got the mouth guard and so I'm just doing a lot of things trying to heal and as crazy as it sounds I almost feel guilty and that's that's part of the healing journey is guilt but uh, not everyone has the luxury of being able to do this I talk often about fascism uh, this is a, like a schedule three drug, so there's all these barriers to entry and things like ayahuasca I've talked about. I really, that's my, that's the next goal. So if this hopefully helps me get to a place where I can look for a new job, a new career sort of something, I'm going to work really hard over the summer. It might be carpentry. I might just do framing carpentry, just become a, uh, uh, an apprentice. Um, but anyways... If I work really hard this summer, I want to save up the money to go do ayahuasca. It might not be this year. It might be in a few years. Who knows? Maybe like ketamine is awesome. And it sort of gives me a few years of focus and direction. Um, we will see. Um, they say, you know, go into it neutral. And I'm trying my best to be neutral. But slightly optimistic. Um, yeah, it would just be nice. Because uh, I have master I have a master's degree uh, I went to massage school I know how to apply myself but over the last few years I haven't known where and I haven't had really a drive like just my my drive for living has been gone and I know a lot of people the the pandemic really psychologically messed with a lot of people and that was part of its purpose make no mistake about it psychological warfare it is real and we are enduring it. So another kind of side objective, side goal of this YouTube channel, yes, it's just catharsis for me, but if I could be like a guide or a role model, you, let's use that term very loosely, but like a role model for other men who have been psychologically and spiritually harmed to seek help. Because uh, if you watch the interview I did with, with Jackson, Clark Jackson, even he just instinctively minimized some of his trauma because that's what we do. There are not a lot of resources, A, in terms of literal resources. I'm having to spend, it's going to be like 1200 bucks for this program, this ketamine program, right? Um, that's, not, that's not a lot of money, but that's also not a, a little sum of money. It's right in the middle, and a lot of people don't have that money. I'm putting it on a credit card, so... Um, it's not that I have the money, but I've paid down my credit cards to be able to pursue it. 
So there's the barriers to entry financially, but then the barriers to entry in terms of just men don't know this is an option. They don't even know that maybe they should be trying to heal themselves. We're so conditioned and we're so programmed, partially from biology, partially from culture and society, that we just push on. And that's part of the, the, the blessing of the burden, as I call it. The whole masculinity, uh, you know, it's, it's a blessing and a burden. It's really cool to be able to create a safe space for people to, to bring their authentic selves into. That's a really good feeling. That sort of masculine presence that allows other people to just be themselves. There's a feminine element to that too. There is. So there's a, a, a way that women can bring in this, this divine grace to the atmosphere, their presence. It brings this, this, beautiful, this beautiful energy. A woman who has cultivated her femininity, it's, it's, it's so beautiful. And it's, it's, not, it's not sexual. It's not anything like that. It is, it is loving and nurturing and, and it is uh, welcoming welcoming that's the huge thing um anyways i'm getting way off subject but this this channel has been a journey of of growth but then also a journey of speaking up and speaking truth and so um if i could be uh help one other young man or middle-aged i'm not a young man anymore just uh, help another man seek help and to fulfill his purpose and duty in life then i will have seen that as a major success Oh man, that would be so wonderful. Just one person, because that's all the ripple takes. Because who knows who that one person will, will um, impact in a positive way. And so, yeah, I may never get a lot of views, but I definitely may have impacted someone, I hope. But also, like, comment, share, subscribe. Because views are cool, views feel good. I made a video recently that got, it's getting views, and I'm like, oh wow. This is cool, uh, but I wasn't trying. That wasn't the intention. The intention is just to talk, to talk, and to get my ideas out and and to have conversations. Um, really, I want to go with the commies. I want to. I want to understand the commies. I'm sorry. I'm getting way off subject. Progression. Let's see how ketamine treat, treatment goes. I'll post another video in a few months after I've done it, and we'll see. Much love, everyone. Take care of yourselves.